Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I have something pretty exciting for you guys. I, it was in the salon last week and what I did was I put a camera on my head and I, a GoPro camera and we just went at it and just filmed the whole thing. So I got a haircut for you on one of my friends, Jack's Keys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's just gonna be a straight from the point of view haircut so that you can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm working in the salon. So I think this could be a really fun way for us to just showcase real salon reality cuts. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy, check this video out, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, thanks. All right guys, so we're here with another point of view haircut with uh, our good friend Jax. Um, Jacqueline's been coming to me for probably at least four or five years. So uh, she's great. Great guest, another member in the salon. Um, so she comes in to get her hair cut quite a bit. The thing I like about Jacqueline is she's so open for anything that we ever want to do. Uh, she likes her hair nice and short. So we cleaned up the sides already using scissor over comb. And now what I'm going to do is go through and just cut the top. I didn't think I really needed to show you guys so much the scissor over comb part. If you want to see that, there's plenty of videos that we've done showing that. Um, so now I really just want to go through and show you the top. You can see how I parted down the center. That's a reference point for me. That's not how she's going to part her hair. And then took it down uh, the the uh, division point of the head I, I parted there. So it really leaves that crown exposed. And what I'm going to do is go in there now and just clean that up with a nice straight line using uh, cutting just over my fingers. Make sure that one blade is moving. Um, I'm using a nice sharp scissor for this. This is the DB20 from Mizutani. Um, I love this scissor. And uh, this is a brand new, it's a brand new scissor from Mizutani. It's really, really razor sharp. Uh, so we're going through. You'll see how I comb it. I comb the hair towards the center of the back of her head. Um, and that's really just to build up the consistency. And, my, and I want to make sure that I always push the new hair that I have in my hand, push it towards the guide. We get too caught up pulling the guide towards ourselves because we always want to pull things towards us because it makes us comfortable that way. But you really want to make sure that you're pushing when you're working if, if it pushes the hair towards the guide. That's really the focus. So make sure you're never moving that guide from where it lives. So again, still just pushing the hair, working with nice clean sections. Don't rush through. Even if it's a nice short haircut like this, don't rush through it. Uh, there's really no, no sense in, in rushing because like I said in, in previous videos, if you rush, you just got to go back and fix it. So you might as well get it right the first time. So working through diagonal sections, working with the round of the head with my fingers, the longest point will be in the center of her head. So I'm really just building up a line using the guide from uh, the bottom of her hair and just following the round of the head up and then leaving a weight line right in the center of her head. Now, as I work towards the front of her hair, everything will be slightly over-directed back, um, still following the round. So you'll see I'll take one section and cut, and then I'll shift and remove a little bit more weight right down uh, towards like the temple area of her head. Even if you're going for a textured look in this, and let's say you have a new guest and you're trying to change her, that doesn't mean that you go through and point cut right away. It's good to build a structure in her hair uh, or anybody's hair, go in, build the structure, and then go in and point cut at the end and add the texture. But get the structure first. We're going through now point cutting just to blend that line a little bit more. And then I'm going to work the other side. You're going to notice right away, I'm going to take the same sectioning, so keeping it still clean, but now I'm going to pull the hair towards me because the guide's now towards my body. So always pulling that old hair or the new hair towards the guide every time you cut. And that just builds consistency in the haircut. The best way to get a perfect haircut or the, the you know most perfect haircut you can get is just be consistent with everything you do. Again, pulling through towards myself. So you can see in the on the uh, left side, of Jacqueline, I was standing standing in front of her. Now I'm standing in the back of her, and that's again just because of the consistency. So I'm combing towards myself, so I'm standing in the back, and I'm working short to long, so I'm cutting behind her head. Before I was working short to long, so I had to stand on the opposite side 
in order to still cut short to long and have my guide where I want it. So there you go. Again, combing that down. Now I can see the weight line from the scissor over comb before. So I'm just going to go through working scissor over comb technique. But you'll notice, um, and this is a 5.7 inch blade on this scissor. Works really well scissor over comb. But I don't, um, I do only move the one blade. And that's what you really got to get good at. And, you know, I've been stressing that. I think we're on our, this is probably video 184, I think. So, you know, we've done a lot of videos and I probably stressed it every single time I'm cutting hair, but I still go into salons or teach classes and see people moving both blades. And you really, if you want to be consistent, you got to work that way. Now I'm going to go into the uh, Mizutani Acro Uragi number six. The thing I like about the number six is it has less teeth, but they're wider spread apart. So it creates a lot of texture. And Jacqueline's got a wicked cowlick uh, right in the front. So what I'm going to do is go in and just take out a lot of weight, create a lot of texture in there, and a lot of movement, which lightens up the hair. If there's not as much hair trying to push in a certain direction, then you're going to have an easier time. So I've just taken diagonal forward sections, grabbing them up in my comb, starting at the base, and then I'm sliding my fingers out as I go. It's just lightening up the whole section. We're going to throw product in the front, spike it up a little bit so it'll be really cool it'll work really well so just checking it with my comb making sure it's laying right now i'm going to go through and just slide cut through with the uh uragi number six just building up a little bit or not building up but taking out a lot of, a lot of that weight in the front you can see because it's the number six and it has wider teeth it does remove if you if you cut in a section quite a few times, you're going to see that bulk go away. Jacqueline, her hair right at uh, her recession point grows straight down at her head. And then the rest of it grows kind of up. So I go through there with that uh, texturizing scissor and just take out some of that bulk and soften the hair that pushes down right there. And it really creates a nice uh, fall to her hair. Jacqueline's got the type of hair that if she goes to the wrong place, that somebody that doesn't really understand uh how the, her hair is is falling she could get a really bad haircut so uh you know she's been with me for a long time she loves coming in she loves changing her hair and it's because i know how to deal with those calyx and create the right look for her we're going to go in clean off the hair get all that hair off of her and then style her up So we're going to take her back in the wash house. Uh, the cool thing about our salon, you're going to get to see a little little preview of it, but uh, we have doors that shut for the wash house. You know, the, the, the cool thing about that is it separates it. We play a different type of music, a little softer music back there. The sun's coming in right now, but normally we just have it all candle lit at night. Um, so it's really relaxing. I always put a towel on the sink because they're not comfortable. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on a sink. It's never, never comfortable. So we're going to go in. We're going to shampoo her. Um, I like to use, we're, we're using a tea tree shampoo. It's got a really minty feel to it. I like to use that because it's like the customer gets to actually feel the shampoo working on their head. So we'll really work that in. And then we have a little treat for Jacqueline after that. All right, so we're going to rinse her off. The key to wh when you're given a great shampoo, um, you know, and I get in a rush just like all of you guys. This is during my normal day. This is not just filming hair. So um, I have a guest coming in right after Jacqueline. So, But you really want to take your time with it and just – I didn't blast the water out uh, at first because, you know, that's not relaxing. I, I softly turned it on, waited till the temperature got right ask her if the temperature is okay, and then, you know, then rinse her hair off. But just take a little extra time with this part because this is what they really love. This is why they come into us. Okay, now we just grabbed a hot towel out of the hot towel warmer. 
So we're going to lay that over her face. This is a steaming hot towel. It's got some tea tree shampoo on it. So it has a minty scent to it. So just lay that over her face. And then we're going to work a slight massage through her face. Uh, let the towel kind of sink in for a minute. And then we work just at the temple area, down the cheekbone, into the jawline. Just a real quick thing. This doesn't have to take you a lot of time in the salon, but it's a huge add-on service for the guest. And if you're thinking, do we charge more for that? We don't charge more. Um, it's included in the price. We don't have the cheapest men's cuts in town. So, you know, I like that it's included. It's one of those little upgrades. It's kind of like if you go to a restaurant and, you know, they bring bread to the table and, you know, all the different little touches that they give you. Um, this is part of the salon experience that we're creating for our guest. So then I use the warm towel to wipe off her ears, her neck. Um, I even dry her hair with it because a damp towel dries hair just as well. So as a salon, you don't need to waste a bunch of towels and the warm towel feels really nice and it gets all the hair off of them. So this really gets them set for their day. And I'm wiping out the sink because one of my big pet peeves in the salon is if you leave the sink dirty and uh, messy. So make sure you wipe out the sink and then get up with your guest. It'll make your salon life a lot easier. I'm going to go through, comb through the hair, um, and then we're going to blow it dry. I like to organize the hair a bit before I blow it dry just because it's, it's just easier to work with, even with short hair. So, oh, going back, grabbing a brush. <laughs> so brushing through, using the vest brush, it gives me a little bit tighter tension. Uh, Jacqueline does have those calyx, so just keeping that airflow pushing down on the hair. And just brush and clean it up nice. That's really, it's just the small little details. Even going through with a brush, it just organizes the hair, makes it lay better, makes the cuticle shine um, before you put the product in. Work in those calic areas just to make sure that the hair lays flat. Now, once I got the hair flat, then I'm just going to pop it up right in the front area and that will, you know, make it easier when the product goes in. So I wanted to make her hair lay nice, but then at the very end, I just popped the front up with the heat. And uh, then when I get the product in there, it just goes where exactly where I want it to. Now we're using Concrete from Cool Grease. This is a new product line that we have on shopfsc.com. Uh, and the great thing about this product is it's such a matte finish, but it does have um, a really awesome hold to it. I mean, they call it Concrete for a reason, but uh, the thing I like about this, we're, we're selling at retail price on the website, but if you contact me, this is a product that you can also get in your salon. You can get it wholesale through me and uh and carry it in your salon but it's such a cool product it's from japan and it's a ton of different barbering pomades different shines different holds but it's this is a such a cool product and you can see how it controls jacqueline's hair even though she has that calic uh, it doesn't matter it just holds it up nice it's got a really nice feel to it i love the texture in the haircut so i hope that this haircut helped you guys uh, please check us out on freesaloneducation.com for more videos and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you.